Hi everyone, I am Lady Stars and Fire, real name Michelle Espinosa, and this is our weekly runecast forecast reading for September 6th until the 14th, Monday next week. Before I go any further, I want to wish everyone a whole lot of love and hugs and kisses in the wind because I want you to have my good energy not my sick energy. <laughs> so I wish you all a lot of love and I hope that you have a wonderful week. Now with that being said, since I am a little bit ill, Spirit basically just woke me up and said it's time to do your job. So now I'm giving you the rune cast. But before I go any further with that, I need to remind you, yay! We all made it through Venus's retrograde. She's going direct now. Some may have said started yesterday. Some may say starting on the 8th. Depending on who you're dealing with as an astrologer. They may give you different dates. But the point is, she's going direct. So, sensitives, if you've been feeling calibrated... Feeling the illnesses that's been coming in, any of those symptoms that's been coming in. If you've been getting any of those uh, lessons last minute, that should be starting to stop and go direct because Venus is going back to her love energy. And love is more than just a relationship. It's a relationship with yourself, a relationship with life relationship with your friends, your peers, your work environment, your social enjoyments. Love is everything that you love. So if you've been feeling over the last four weeks a little bit of the, hey, that didn't work. Hey, maybe we should have done it this way. We shouldn't do it like that again. Things going on. That's Venus kind of going Hey, this is how we might want to correct it in our life in the future. Kind of like a mom <laughs> reminding us of how to make ourselves better or bring our love into our own lives better. So it's kind of like lessons that you just received over those last four weeks to kind of keep in check to keep you going in the right direction until she goes retrograde again and she starts going hey <laughs> again <laughs> now I also was given two very strange totems to talk about and and they're not really totems for the week but I'm feeling more like they're meant to help you understand I was given of all strange things flee and not well, see, flea is not something anybody really wants to deal with, a flea, but it's draining energies, infestation of energies, um, things you don't like necessarily. Uh, reminding us all, we all, in some way, are always under subject of harm. And... We could be getting used by others. Um, or we could be using others. So this also deals with energy. So you might want to check and see, is your energy being drained in ways that maybe you don't want it to be? Because maybe those are changes you need to be making. Um, or maybe you're draining energy from other people and you might need to stop doing that. And as far as Nat goes, Nat is transformation but in the harshest of conditions a gnat will always find a way to pers persevere so that's basically what it's telling you um, it's time to see things in different ways in many different ways um, a gnat sees and senses outside of the extra, regular, ordinary, possible ways. So that's what it's, I'm being told right now. It's time to really, truly take a good look and see everything. Um, I'm also being given 
a tree of life is, is being growing and somehow it turns into a door. You open the door and now you have another tree of life growing, turning into a perfect tree of life and yet turns into a door. And when you go through the door, again, another tree of life. This could be either past situations you're still maybe having problems you're going through over and over and over again in every life or realizing we are always changing. We are always going through those doors. So depending on where it is, no matter where you are in life, past life, this life, or even a future life, we are always moving and we are always going through the door. It's just up to us how we view it. But the door is always going to be something that we're going through is what I'm getting. I'm also being told that um, you, it has to do with your creativity. Your, uh, you are the channel. You are your own radio channel. You are your own station. You yourself are the channel. And depending on the channel that you choose to create yourself to be, how you see and let others see you, you create it, your skills of you, your, uh, your flirting natures, your, your sexual energy, all of what is the channel that is you is what you create. So remember, in order to have harmony in your channel of you, you've got to find harmony within yourself. Then it starts me off with one, one you. Can you see that? And this is coming in truth and honesty. It is joy, perfection, the wish. It is earth and it is air. It is states of harmony, otherwise or in one's social and one's relationships. Points to recognition by others, well-being or prosperity. Um, shows of someone being in tune with themselves and in tune with their own personal magic -ing. It is the magical will that one gives. This is what I'm being told. Your creativity, your channel of you. Um, is one's will. The search, the perfection the, of their people, their friends, their social relationships. They're getting on with other people. Your social accomplishments, success, prosperity, um, relationships, social harmony, Rewards for right efforts or conduct. Gain of that magical wish. The creation of a place and of its social spectrum. And then we're moving on to... Uh, now these. Hey, it helps if I put it to where you can see it. This is also coming in truth and honesty. It is the determination, endurance. It is your sacrifice. It is the need, the need of fire and distress. Presence of situation sometimes that must be worked through. It is your karma and your karmatic obstacles that must be overcome. It is that great change that will happen to awaken to show you've already had those powers. It was already part of you. Um, it sometimes shows a person who is working very hard or a person who is struggling. Resistance and friction. Resistance, strength that will burn the will of fire from within. Sorry. The need to banish the distress and warm the cold. Changes stress into strength. Change stress into strength. Action according to need of positive self-reliance. Um, it is the ruin of overcoming 
karma, skills, self-preservation, meeting necessary requirements, man manifesting, create, manuf manifesting, created by the absence of it. Every challenge is just a measure of one's hidden strengths, honey. Uh, it is about breaking addictive patterns. Realize what you think you lack. You already have in you, darling. You just have to realize this. And then we are given radio. This one is coming in self-love, love of others, unconditional love, laws of anxiety. It is the ride, the riding, the chariot, the air. Um, it is the world of rhythm and rhyme, the dance of life. It focuses on matters of order, justice, and change through preparation. Focuses on matters of life, justice, change of preparation, like I said, sorry. Structure of outward control or its issues. Indicates a journey sometimes over land or such as in a vehicle. Points to the presence of people involved in practices of a law. People in skilled ritual, art, works, rules, ceremonies, magical rites. Channeling of energy according to its natural law. Controlled movement and the dance of life. Primal order expressed in ethical relationships with our environment. And it is the ruined cast of outer self-order and measured change. Growth through planning and preparation. Experience of the outer world and logic and ethics are now applied. Wise counsel, justice, and just rewards in legal matters. And then I am being given, basically just as a reminder, <laughs> and self-love, unconditional love, love of others, loss of anxiety, fei wu. And to cut to the chase, because I'm running out of time, I know exactly what they're coming with this. They're reminding you that, remember, honey, money are not your riches. Your riches are you and everything that you are. So it is overcoming that karma and that fulfill, fulfillment of everything that you want, the honesty of what it is that you want. It is definitely a powerful uh, rune, and it is definitely a protective rune, but it is about wisdom. It is also reminding you that power is knowledge. Knowledge can then become money. So make sure you're getting the knowledge that you need for who you are and what you truly want. Don't just go after what you think is riches. Go after what is truly riches. <sighs> Hugs and kisses, my darlings. I hope you have a wonderful week. And you can always check me out at my website, ladystarsandfire.com. Excuse me. Or you can check me out on YouTube. Or, I mean, well, we're on YouTube. On Facebook or Instagram or even Twitter if you're interested. You can always check out all of my different charms and whatnot. And I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye.